Hey, I'm Lori Clinney. I'm the Director of Student Services for the Early County School System. I'm also a licensed professional counselor. We hope that these tips will help our students and family better adjust to these new changes and help them in stressful times. Last week, we talked about the brain's negative bias and how our negative experiences and negative thoughts can affect our feelings and leave us feeling depressed, sad, angry, ashamed, and so on. In this session, I'm gonna teach you some happiness hacks or some tricks to get your body to release its happy hormones naturally. The happy hormones we're gonna talk about today are oxytocin, serotonin, dopamine, and endorphins. And these are known as the happy hormones. And when they're released in your body, they promote feelings of, uh, or positive feelings, and feelings of pleasure and happiness. First, we're gonna talk about dopamine. Dopamine is the happy hormone that motivates us to take action. Here's some things that you can do to get your brain to send a message to release these chemicals in your body. One thing you can do is make to-do list or make a list of goals you have or even create a vision board. Engage in some writing or listening to music. Getting enough sleep is also very important and helps um, your body release these chemicals. The next happy hormone we're gonna talk about is oxytocin. This hormone is known as the love hormone as it helps us with our relationship building and making connections with others and just bonds with another person. It's also known as, a, as the hug hormone. So one thing that you can do to boost oxytocin in your body is by hugging someone. Another thing you can do is tell someone you care for them, cook for someone, or just in random act of kindness, doing something nice for someone. Those are all things you can do to help boost oxytocin in your body. Our next happy hormone is serotonin. This hormone helps us balance our moods and keep our emotions in check and regulated. Some things that we can do to boost serotonin in our body is to go outside for 10 or 15 minutes a day or engage in some kind of aerobic exercise like hiking or biking. Um, visualize a happy memory or moment or even just look at photographs of loved ones. All of these will help you to boost serotonin levels in your body. Last, we're gonna talk about endorphins. Endorphins help us manage stress and anxiety. Some things we can do to boost endorphins in our body is play a team sport, go for a walk, eat dark chocolate, watch a movie with a friend, take a hot bath, or perform some kind of random act of kindness. And all of these will help you to boost endorphins in your body. These are just some easy tricks that you can utilize to get those happy chemicals pumping and flowing throughout your body. And hopefully they'll promote positive feelings or feelings of pleasure and happiness. I hope you'll try some. Thank you for joining today's session. And I hope you'll stay tuned for our upcoming sessions.